And uh, how do you do? Hey, this is Tom the Beer Whisperer. I'm in a undisclosed location. Ha! <coughs> Goodness, excuse me. I'm fighting off a cough. Ain't no. <coughs> Good gravy. Oh, hey there. Uh, how do you do again? Um, I am actually in Barstown, Kentucky. Uh, and I'm trying this for the very first time. This is called Revenge Sugar Shine by Limestone Branch. Uh, distillers. It is kind of a boutique craft distillery in Lebanon, Kentucky. Uh, I'm in Bartown. It's, I don't know, maybe an hour from here or less. Uh, Revenge Double Oak Sugar Shine Barrel Reserve. 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof. Okay, spirits distilled are 50% corn, 50% cane. So it's, it's not technically bourbon, I suppose. By that, so I've never had this before, so I want to do this. I'm going to try some on some ice, but I'm going to do a little bit here in my shot glass. That's just a hair under a shot there. Let's see. Now a swirl. Got an interesting nose. Um, a lot of caramel on the nose. Hmm, a lot different than I was expecting. A lot different than, than bourbon, actually. I'll put a little water in there, like they would do it at tasting. I wanted to get something good while I was here. My criteria for this particular one was, was uh, well, it was I wanted it to be something I can't get back home, which this I cannot. Uh, I typically want a bourbon. This is not bourbon, but it's something unique. So I thought, well, that kind of fits your criteria. I didn't want it to be bottom shelf, nor did I want it to be top shelf either. I wanted something you know, accessible and affordable. This runs uh, just under $30 a bottle. So I wanted to see how it compare with other bourbons or other whiskeys that you would buy for about the same price point. It is very interesting. Uh, wow. I'm going to try some over the ice, over, over some ice, oh, over some ice, see how it tastes. Huh. This may take a little bit to make up my mind how much I like it. You know, it's funny how sometimes expectations mess you up. You're thinking, okay, uh, typically bourbon, to be bourbon, it has to be 51% corn. 49% uh, is traditionally rye, but there are some weeded bourbons as a secondary grain instead of, instead of rye. Uh, so uh, typically bourbon uh, made from corn. Corn has a lot of sweetness. You get a little spiciness from the rye, so you have that balance. Wheat is much softer and a little sweet too. So, so weeded bourbons tend to be a little softer, a little sweeter. Uh, than, than uh, you know, much many truer bourbons. So it depends on what flavor you want. So I was thinking this one, which was 50% corn, 50% cane sugar, I was actually expecting it to be sweeter. Uh, and it is not, actually. Uh, um, I'm not detecting a whole lot of sugar. I'm getting a ton, ton, ton of caramel on the nose. And some on the flavor, but but what I'm getting mostly is is huge, huge. Uh, I tried to find some information on their website, and they talk more about their moonshines, more of their their flavor shines rather than this revenge, uh, you know, kind of aged whiskey. So I didn't get a lot of information from them. They do have some on the back here, so I'm gonna try to read this to you. My eyes are a little tired tonight, so I'm gonna do my best here. I don't have the greatest of light, so bear with me. Our great grandfather, minor case being. Holy crap, uh, chose to dedicate his life to the family tradition of distilling, started by his own great grandfather, Jacob, way back in 1788. But Uncle Sam had different plans, and minor cases 
craft was outlawed on January 17th, 1920. God, my eyes are not working tonight. A prohibition was repealed in 1933. Uh, but minor case. There's another light there? Oh, yeah, that helps a little bit. Uh, passed away 115 days later, allowing him only uh, a short time to enjoy the fruits of his labor. So as a tribute to minor case, Revenge Sugarshine Barrel Reserve has all the flavor and character of that minor case would have legally enjoyed. So, I, uh, again, by that description, they're not really trying to be a bourbon here. Mm. It's smooth. There's nothing harsh about it. I'm not... The flavors are throwing me off, to be honest with you. Uh, um, sometimes I know within the first sip whether I really like it or really hate it. And this one, I'm kind of not sure because there's some other flavors I haven't quite discerned yet I, I was again sometimes perception messes with you it's not as sweet as I had, had anticipated so I am going to try a little on the rocks actually and I will come back and do a review with, with you how you think about that how